Hey team, welcome to the online edition of CMIS 468. Yeah, we are doing this online for the rest of the semester. This is how we're going to actually, this is not how we interact. This is how I deliver some content to you. Um, I would like us to interact a little more with Microsoft Teams. I actually just finished a Microsoft Teams training session for faculty this morning that went very well. I'm trying to figure out kind of best uses of Microsoft Teams. I think once you're in the team, Microsoft Teams environment, uh, you should have access right now, so try it out. Uh, you should be able to like, you know, right click on me, I can right click on you to chat with you if you want to interact. I'll try to stay logged in uh, uh, pretty much all day in Teams if you want to chat with me. And then I think there's also a, a video chat option in Teams, but uh, maybe somebody can help me test that out. Uh, but I promised you for every video that I'm doing the rest of the semester, I'm going to give you a different hat and a different concert t-shirt. So I may have talked about my Carolina Panthers cap in uh, class previously that, you know, just confuses most people. But of course, you know, I'm from North Carolina, so I've got to represent. And today's concert t-shirt is brought to you by the band War. Yeah, they came to St. Louis last year at the, I think they're at the Hollywood Casino, but not the big outdoor amphitheater there's a small venue at the hollywood casino like in indoor um maybe maybe 300 people uh, it was a pretty intimate show but war used to be huge back in the day um they used to uh, play with uh, Jimi hendrix and santana and all kinds of people back in the day uh, that was a fun uh, show in case you're not sure who war is here's a little uh, snippet this is one of their, their big hits That, that was one. Another one was uh, 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 well. Let's do their their big hit. You you know this one for more. Let's crank it. That's right, low rye duh. Um, this is actually a fun family story in the Jacks family. Uh, when Lindsay was, I don't know, uh, this would be like six years ago, because she wasn't even a, a teenager, six, seven years ago. And my wife Priscilla, and we're all in the car, and, and she was trying to figure out who did this song, Low Rider. And so this is an example of what in the industry we call natural language search because she grabbed her her iPhone and went doo -doo -doo. who who sings that song look low rider you know low ride duh doo -doo. and it found it and I've always kind of critiqued her of her search her searching needs to be a little more logical but she's very right brained with her search so that's a natural language search um, and um, but the the memorable moment from the concert was was this one, if you know this song. stop because I could jam to that all day but here's what was interesting about that moment this has never happened at a concert I've been to uh, uh, I don't want to exaggerate and say a hundred concerts but uh, dozens and dozens of shows and certainly um, a couple of dozen just in the last year alone I've never seen this at a show before the lead singer took the microphone and passed it around to everybody in the audience and it kind of started on the front row, but it kind of passed it all, all around. I didn't grab it, but because I was having too much fun dancing in the aisle and watching what other people do, and they would kind of sing the refrain and then add their own lyrics to it and kind of build on it. And just and some were people in the audience were better singers than others. But that, that my friends, is an example of engagement. Um, I wish there was some way that I could pass the microphone around to all of you to interact with you that way. Maybe we can figure something out, but uh, that's the that's the thing for today. So 
back to more serious stuff. I know things are crazy um, in, uh, well, there, things are crazy everywhere in the world. Um, and it's going to get worse before it gets better. I'm, of course, holed up in uh, my home in Edwardsville. I live in the Essex neighborhood. And I went a little stir crazy yesterday and just had to get out and about, just drive around, kind of see what was open. I saw people at uh, coming out of Deerberg's with uh, very small bags, like they've got restrictions on groceries. Um, that made me panic a little bit, and uh, we ended up going to Doc's Barbecue to get some takeout barbecue. Oh my God, that made me so, feel so much better. I just stocked up on brisket and pulled pork and sandwiches and just filled up the fridge. I don't know, just to have some meat in the fridge made me feel uh, better about things. My apologies if you're a vegetarian, vegan, I'm not trying to offend, but those of us who are omnivores want to, uh, it's, it's all about the meats. Anyway, um, let me know if you're, you know, if you're having a, a really tough time with the whole stay at home situation, uh, reach out and let me know. We can, we can always talk. Um, I've been uh, talking to a few students uh, online and over the phone. If you want to reach out and just, if you're lonely, seriously, you know, give me a call. 276-206-7067. Um, oh, and you know what I've never said in one of these videos? <laughs> I've always wanted to say this. I'm, I'm going to say it now. If you like this video, give me a like at the bottom. <laughs> uh, some people are actually subscribing to my YouTube channel, which is kind of hilarious. You don't have to do that, but... Um, and you don't have to like the video and you don't have to comment on the video. This is just for your convenience. I think YouTube is just a universal platform. Uh, let me move on to what you're probably really care about, which is, you know, what the hell are we doing with the exam that was scheduled for this week? Obviously, I've pushed that out. And uh, my plan is to publish that on Blackboard. It'll still be on Blackboard, online, on multiple choice. Um, but I want to give you... Uh, a window of time just to provide you maximum flexibility for when it's convenient for you to do the exam. So just to kind of reduce the stress level uh, from uh, when, next Wednesday through Friday. Uh, so you know, Wednesday morning through Friday evening, you've got a nice big bucket of time. Now, once you start the exam, you have to go ahead and finish it. And I'll have a time limit, limit on it, probably about 45 minutes, um, because I, I uh, really don't want you using uh, notes, books, slides, online references. I want you to take the exam as if you're taking it in class, but um, I'm not using any of that stupid proctoring software because I think it's invasive and intrusive. And, um, I'm just going to treat you like adults. Uh, so I'm going to compress the time just to kind of simulate, you know, having to go through it without searching for answers uh, on your own because I would consider that cheating. So please don't do that. And, uh, but if you're, if you're in a weird situation and you need additional time, let me know. Maybe I can figure something out with you. Um, I am going to go ahead and start talking about Chapter 7 uh, in this and the f subsequent videos. Uh, please keep in mind, Chapter 7 on, on wireless technology is not on exam number 2. I'm just going ahead and posting this to you know, kind of keep up with our, our schedule, and you can you know, kind of do things in the order uh, that works for your life. Um, homework that's coming up, homework, uh, assignment, thank goodness we did assignment number four, right, with the making the, you know, crimp tool and making the cable in class. I need to post your grades um, for that one. I'm glad we were able to do that before spring break. Uh, number five, uh, I was planning on doing a test out one anyway, so I'm keeping that as a test out assignment. Assignment number six uh, was, is still due April 1st. Um, originally, uh, this was a big assignment, and it's a big part of 468, which is doing the wireless site survey. So you download a tool called Xeris, uh, and there, there are other tools. If you just do a search on uh, wireless site survey tools, free tools, there are a lot of them out there. Uh, I like Xeris, and the Panko textbook uses Xeris as an example as well in, in one of the appendices, if you flip to the back, I think. It's still in there. This is a, a great tool to try out um, and get some experience with because doing a wireless site survey is one of those skills I want you to have on your resume. Here's the thing, we, we can't do it in this environment because the assignment, um, the traditional assignment is to walk around Founders Hall, mapping out Founders Hall, finding where all the access points 
R, and then uh, creating a spreadsheet with the MAC addresses of all the access points. It's a great assignment. Students hate it, but they always learn stuff and they, they appreciate it. But you, you look kind of silly walking around with your laptop, boop, 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 like you're dousing for water, boop, 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 and it, like you can set up the, the beeping to get more rapid as you get closer to an access point. It's uh, it's cool, and this is a tool that network engineers use all the time, all the time, because Wi-Fi is a very trial and error sort of thing, because the, uh, the Wi-Fi access points don't broadcast in a perfect sphere or anything. It's bleh, like a big blob. Um, yeah, so th this is what network engineers use to figure out the right layout you know, where to spread out the access point. So you've still got a strong signal, but they're not right on top of each other either. Um, we can't do that. I would like for you to download it and play with it, try it out at home at least. And you can, you certainly, you will be able to see all of your neighbor's access points this way. Uh, signal what level of uh, encryption they're using, what authentication protocol they're using, which would be very helpful for hacking that we're talking about in the other class in 422. But instead, what I've done is I've changed assignment number six to just be uh, the, the test out labs with regard to wireless security. So super easy. Uh, because this assignment was worth so much, uh, was so much work, I made it worth 20 points instead of 10 points based on student feedback. Uh, they asked for it to be worth more points because of the effort they had to put into it. Even though the test out assignment is not going to take you much, I'm leaving it at 20 points because I said in the syllabus it's worth 20 points. So we'll just call this your coronavirus bonus. Okay, just you know, thanks for hanging in there with me. Uh, so if you have any questions about the exam, the homework assignments, let me know. Um, but with that, let's go ahead and just jump into chapter seven, the uh, kind of this is part two of wireless lands. Um, and what we're talking about in chapter seven is really focused around security and management. Um, there's a, there's some technical detail that we don't have to get into because we're not a computer science class uh, in the School of Engineering, but we'll, we'll mention a few things. And then we'll wrap up with Internet of Things and uh, kind of impl implications for the very near future. Um, yeah, these are the, the topics. So there are a couple of big threats to wireless security uh, that the book wants to get into. There are many, many more threats than, than this, but let's just use their uh, examples for now just to keep things kind of simple. And the, the first one is war driving. Oh, oh, I just realized. Oh, the thank you, universe. Oh, yeah, war driving. It, see, it was meant to be. I don't know why I picked this T-shirt for today. It was it was meant to be low rider and driving around all the oh let's 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 hit it just because ah uh, timing the low rider is a little higher yeah baby um, okay drive by hacking the uh, or back in my day we called it war driving um, Actually, war driving is not necessarily illegal because it's just driving around with your laptop looking for access points with a tool like Xerus. Um, just looking for access points. It becomes hacking as soon as you try to access the network without authorization. So hacking is accessing uh, without uh, proper authorization. Uh, but these two terms get kind of uh, blurred. Um, and so the example is a, a drive-by hacker can, uh, uh, especially if there's a if there's no security on the access point, there's nothing to stop them from connecting to the network, which happened to a lot of uh, retail stores. It happened to Lowe's for crying out loud. Um, back in the day, this was uh, ten years ago at this point, but yeah, somebody just pulled up into the parking lot in Lowe's and, uh, and attached to uh, a Lowe's store, um, connected to the network, and was able to work their way back to the central data center in uh, Charlotte uh, in North Carolina um, and got uh, we got hacked that way so this used to be a very real thing we're obviously much uh, better about securing our wireless access points it's not perfect w wireless is always going to be inherently less secure than a, a wired network wired is better wired is faster 
it's more stable and uh, it's cheaper. Um, so wired is better. Now, I'm kind of a cable bigot, right? But um, so this is one of the obvious problems with um, uh, wireless technology. Here's a, just a cartoon that I've used for years and years. That's why it's so grainy and bitmappy. But with the help of this Linux program, yes, the wireless network password. I'm in. Uh, always, always makes me laugh because I don't know. He looks vaguely French with slick back hair and the. Uh, formal shoes and looks really nothing like a, a hacker at all but the idea is that you know you could be a guy in a van that you know pulling up outside a building and getting into a network that way you don't have to be inside the building which is why this is a this is a problem um, so uh, what I'm gonna do is kind of pause here because I'm right at the 15 now 16 minute mark and save this one and then do uh, part two here in a second hang on